Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called polynomials. The given question is find the remainder when x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 minus 2x to the power 2 plus x plus 1 is divided by x minus 1. So guys let us look into this question. Here question has given us two polynomials. Those are here question has given us two polynomials. One is one is x to the power 4 one is x to the power 4 plus one is x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 minus 2 x to the power 2 minus 2 x to the power 2 plus x plus 1 question has given us this polynomial and the other polynomial that the question has given us is x minus 1 let the first polynomial be p x and the second polynomial be g x let the first polynomial be p x and the second polynomial be g x Question is asking us find the remainder when px is divided by gx. When px is divided by when px is divided by gx, we need to find out the remainder. What is the remainder? This is what when we we need to find out the remainder. We need to find out the remainder. This is what the question has asked us to do. Now, guys, if you look here, if you look here, here the the divisor the divisor is a linear polynomial if you look here the divisor is a linear polynomial linear polynomial now as i told you earlier if we are dividing a polynomial by a linear polynomial then we can easily apply the remainder theorem so as we are dividing px by gx where gx is a linear polynomial let us apply the remainder theorem now what is the zero of this G, gx what is the zero of this polynomial the zero of this polynomial means x minus 1 is equal to 0 or i can get x is equal to 0 so the zero of this linear polynomial x the zero of this linear polynomial x is 1 x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 so what we got we here have using the remainder theorem i'm going to use the remainder theorem observation 1 we have here x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 minus 2x to the power 2 plus x plus 1 and and as per the question as per the remainder theorem when we divide a polynomial px by a linear polynomial the remainder will be p a the remainder will be p a let's see how it is p a here our a p a here our a is here our a is 1 p a here our a is 1 how a is 1 because we got the value of x is equal to 1 or in other words let me put it like this let us here we got the value of x is equal to 1 now putting the value of x is equal to 1 here i can write replacing the value of x with 1 from where i got 1 from here only p with p1 will be 1 to the power 4 plus 1 to the power 3 minus 2 into 1 to the power 2 plus 1 plus 1 or p1 is equal to 1 plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 or i can write let us solve this one further i can write or i can write p1 is equal to or p1 is equal to 1 plus 1 2 2 minus 2 is 0 then 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 what we got here we got the remainder as 2 we got the remainder as 2 this is how it this is how we got with the application of the remainder theorem we got the remainder as 2 and the question asked us to find out the remainder now we can we can easily say that we can easily say that when we divided because question asked us what is the remainder we can easily say that when we divided divided when we divided x to the power 4 plus x to the power 3 minus 2x to the power 2 plus x plus 1 by x minus 1 the remainder we get 1 the remainder is the the remainder is 2 the remainder is 2 remainder is 2 hope guys you understood this and the other thing you can also do in order to check whether our answer or whether our remainder is correct or not we can we can check this one using 
using the long division method. Guys, you can use the long division method and you can find out whether we are getting the remainder as 2 or not. But definitely this answer will be correct because we applied here the remainder. We applied here the remainder theorem and we got, got our answer. The remainder theorem, if you understood, it says that when we divide a polynomial by x minus a, the remainder is p a. So here x minus a means here if you look here, here we got if you look here, here x minus a means here we got x minus 1. That means here a is, if you look here, here the given polynomial is x minus 1. That means here the value of this a is minus 1. So x minus a, here the value of this a is 1, not minus 1. How? Because when we divided a polynomial, we got the remainder, applying the remainder theorem, we got the value of the polynomial like P A is equal to remainder. So, this is what we got. Now, we, we used the value of A as 1 and then we calculated out and whatever the value we got, that, is, that was our remainder. So, here we got the value of A as 1. How? Because the 0 of the divisor, x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1. Then, replacing the value of x with 1, we solved the given polynomial, uh, the given equation, and we calculated out P1 is equal to 2. So, and as per the remainder theorem, the P A is equal to the remainder. So, we, we got P1 is equal to 2. That means this is our remainder. Hope guys, you understood this. This is very simple and very straightforward. Just we need to understand the remainder theorem and we can get our answer. But question, guys, if you, if you have any questions or doubts, please reach out to me in the comment section of this video. Definitely I will get back to you once I see your comments. Guys, if you really like my videos, please subscribe and let your friends know. If you really like my videos, I would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.